Hey guys, what's going on? Today for me is a beautiful Saturday morning. Um, and what better way to spend my Saturday morning than looking at a brand new animal showcase? And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. Just yesterday, Frontier released the Reindeer Showcase in hypes for their brand new Arctic DLC. And they did the same thing today with the Arctic Wolf. And so we're going to analyze them both. Now, the only reason why I didn't do the Reindeer yesterday was because I figured they'd be doing another one tomorrow or, you know, today. And they did. And now we can analyze them both. But um, really quickly, let's talk about whether they'll be doing the other two. I do think they will. Um, hopefully tomorrow. Now, even though tomorrow's a Sunday, um, it's really just it wouldn't be not it would not be that bad of a thing for them to just go ahead and do say the doll sheep tomorrow and save the polar bear for Monday, the day before the DLC comes out, and that would just be like perfect for the last big hype, right? Maybe persuade any last people to go ahead and buy the pack. But knowing Frontier, they may just do the doll sheep Monday and the polar bear on morning of launch of the DLC. They've done that kind of stuff before, like with Jurassic World Evolution, they, during the Fallen Kingdom, when the Fallen Kingdom pack came out for free for everyone, they did a whole bunch of species profiles for all of them, and it came out after the DLC came out for everyone. Um, so, don't know why exactly, it was kind of pointless at that point, but, oh well. Anyway, you guys have already seen the showcases for yourself probably, and if you haven't, then you already watched them at the beginning of the video. Let's go ahead and analyze the Reindeer Showcase first. I am on YouTube, and this is where we're actually going to be um, analyzing it. Uh, it's the best way I could do it. Anyway, let's just go ahead and start watching the Reindeer. Okay, first thing I want to know is how beautiful this opening is. Also, the Reindeer Showcase had some really beautiful music in it. It felt so lively. It just planted Zoo has great music. Um, also, people have been asking me why I've been using Zoo Tycoon 2 music with my exhibit speed builds, and the reason is it's just a good mix of nostalgia and the brand new Planet Zoo, right? Just all together, it sounds really good. It, Zoo Tycoon 2 music actually works really well with Planet Zoo, in my opinion. And people seem to like it, but some people are questioning why I have it. So hopefully, for anyone who wants to know, that explains it. Anyway, though, yeah, this beautiful, just an absolutely beautiful shot. This is clearly a Tundra map, and obviously that's what the whole DLC is based on. Uh, which is good, because honestly, the Tundra map is one of my least favorite ones, but now this whole DLC is going to persuade me to actually start playing on it more. I really like this um, whole layout, actually. It looks really good for Reindeer. Anyway, uh, let's keep going. Now, that's an even better shot, just looking at the Reindeer as it looks upon its gorgeous exhibit. Now, there is something really cool you may be able to spot here. Actually, let me have it go a little bit farther. Oh, alright, too far back. Let's try this again. Okay, now there is something interesting you can you may be able to spot in this moment. Can anyone actually spot it? Um, so in my Discord, someone pointed this out to me, uh, thanks to them. Over here, where my mouse is, you can see an albino reindeer standing in the snow, which is really cool. It's hard to see because it's white blending in with the white snow, uh, but that's definitely an albino reindeer. It's gorgeous. I cannot wait to see them up more up close. Uh, we have also those head icons I made a video on in the um, just yesterday, I believe it was. Obviously, they are true because they are 100% depicting the animals that we've seen so far. Um, I have like zero doubts, and I even have more proof about where they came from. Someone on my Discord informed me that they were also found within the Planet Zoo website. So again, more evidence, right? Found from another official source than just the game itself. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, the baby reindeer are so, so frigging adorable. I love, in general, I just love reindeer. This has so far been my favorite animal out of the entire pack. Even more exciting than the polar bear, probably because we haven't seen it officially. When I see the polar bear, if it ends up um, surprising me more than I thought, then, then I may be number one. But right now, reindeer is for sure number one for me. They've just always been my favorite of all survive. No, sorry, my second favorite. My favorite's actually the moose. Hopefully one will take. Uh, one we'll get eventually. What's really cool about the reindeer in this pack is it is one of two out of four animals that is unique, I'd say. Um, 
because it's the only one of its kind of game. There are no other Servine deer like this. It is the first of, hopefully, uh, many more to get. Uh, now, uh, some of its animations, I imagine, will be a copy and a copy and paste kind of thing. Like, like the way it walks is probably the exact same as, say, a Springbok, right? They're both ungulates. They're both kind of deer. It's just, that's just that. But of course, it'll have some unique things for itself. I hope. Um, one thing that would be cool to see is seeing the males. Um, headbutt each other with their antlers, that would be really cool to see, and something else I'd love to see with the um, doll sheep, which is the other unique animal in this pack, it's surprising, both the un er both the ungulates are the unique ones, I'd have to say, especially the doll sheep, because it's a sheep, and it's the first time we're getting something like this, um, and I, like I said, I'd love to see them headbutt, that's, that's a, quite a prominent thing to remember when you think about any kind of mountain sheep or goats. Um, and then, if I'm being completely honest, the Arctic Wolf, which we'll be taking a look at in a moment, is probably the least uh, least unique out of any of the animals, in my opinion. That's why it's probably my least favorite. Uh, but it's still really cool. And actually, when we get to the showcase, after watching it myself, I think it actually looks really good. And the polar bear, even though we haven't seen it, I imagine we'll just take the exact same bear animation, but we'll look structurally different, as it should. Anyway, though, um, I kind of lost what I forgot what I was talking about initially. Let's just go ahead and keep watching. animation like that where it's licking its side, I guess I've seen it before in a lot of the ungulates, so maybe it is just taking the exact same animation as another one that we don't, can't exactly uh, figure out. I'm trying to think of one of the ungulates in the game that does that, or I think they all do, actually. Um, I think I've seen, I believe I've seen like the Nyala do that before, I could understand that, the, the Nyala would be understandably uh, an animation to take for the reindeer. They, they're very structurally similar, size-wise and everything. Um, I just keep watching. Just absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And of course we get that. That's so cool. Um, well, the colors they picked. Hopefully for every time they do a DLC, just like with Jurassic World Evolution, they will have like a particular color to kind of symbolize this pack. Or whatever it is. Also, it's interesting that they call it a pack. If they ever do smaller packs, like like Jurassic World Evolution does, are they going to call those packs? But they're going to be quite different. I don't know. It's interesting to see what they're going to do with DLC structure. This is the very first one. It's ten dollars, and you get a good variety of things. Um, obviously, they're going to have bigger DLCs. I, I imagine, like uh, hopefully, we all suspect an Australian DLC. I'm keeping my absolute fingers crossed for that. And I imagine, will they actually call it a pack? I suppose. What about, uh, for say, like I said, a smaller actual kind of DLC than this, like an actual pack? What they call it? Maybe for okay for just some ideas of what they could call DLCs or something like um, an Australian expansion or um, an endangered species collection or something like that. Just I'm talking about names of DLCs. I don't know why I'm doing that. Let's just go ahead and uh, take a look at the wolf. Alright, and now we're at the Arctic Wolf Showcase, let's begin. Again, just like the first one, gorgeous opening. Um, um, unfortunately, this one does not have as much uh, beautiful music like the reindeer one does. Sorry, I'm laughing a little bit because I just my voice cracked again. Keeps doing that, sorry. Puberty. Anyway, let's, let's keep watching. Now that's a really beautiful shot. The pup, the pups in specific. If I'm being completely honest, after watching all of this, the pups look the mic. They look even more copy and paste. They look exactly, exactly like the Timberwolf puppies, just a little bit more white. Uh, I will say that the full adults, they actually look more different than I thought they would. When we get a closer look, I'll point out. Also, the tail. The tail almost looks like it has like an Arctic fox kind of tail. Okay, that's a good, that's a good shot. So, let's talk about the differences. From what I can tell, some differences are, okay, one thing that sticks out a lot to me about the Arctic Wolf than the Timber Wolf, when I think of an Arctic Wolf, I think of quietness. There, If you notice, it doesn't make a single sound in this whole entire video, only the pups do, but the actual adult Arctic Wolf we're looking at doesn't make a single sound. They, When I think of them, I think of solitary, quiet wolves. That's basically what they are. They don't live in as large of groups, they don't live, um, 
they're not as aggressive, I, I, I would imagine, than the Timberwolf. And the Timberwolf, I believe, is like the largest canine in the world, but the Arctic Wolf, that's one thing they have to get absolutely correct. This is already a copy and paste animal. The least they could get correct is size. Do not make them the same size. Um, and it, even bigger would be a real problem if the Arctic Wolf was bigger than Timber, but obviously that's not going to happen. This needs to be a smaller animal, though, because that's actually how it is. The Arctic Wolf is a smaller wolf subspecies and timber wolf is the largest there needs to be a good difference and so far it actually it looks quite different the head the face in particular looks different it almost looks more like an arctic fox which is what we wanted instead than this um but as i was saying originally this animal gives off a very quiet peaceful not as aggressive vibe in the timber wolf and i really like that it, it just gives a different vibe um so i guess it's something unique to it uh, and like I said, the look of it looks a little bit more arctic foxy. It looks smaller so far, which like I said, they better get correct. Um, yeah, I have to admit, it, it looks better than I thought it was. I'm more excited to get to them now, but at the end of the day, it still is a copy and paste. So, but let's go, let's see where it goes next. I kind of forgot. Oh, see, look, that right there, that is exactly, that looks exactly like a timber wolf puppy, just more white. Even the top of the head looks exactly like one. Uh, but I guess at the end of the day, I really don't care as much. It's just so beautiful. I love how it shakes off the snow. Um, oh, I don't know. It's, just, it's just so beautiful. This is such a beautiful animal, despite the fact that it's not the best. In the, I, I keep saying it. I'm sorry, guys. I just don't think the Arctic Wolf sticks out to me as much as the rest. And I think a lot of people agree. But hey-ho, it still is gorgeous it absolutely is this is a great arctic wolf showcase and i'm also very excited to see what we will get next i'm really looking forward to the doll sheep showcase if they do it because it's one of them it's it's slowly getting more and more exciting for me um but yeah arctic wolf it looks great as what it is supposed to be but at the end of the day i was gonna say it again it is just a copy and paste Anyway, though, I think I've been talking for long enough now about two simple videos. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned for more Planet Zoo content, such as things like Wexford Zoo Episode 5 I'm working on, a new Big Cat Sanctuary series build. Um, also, my Bongo exhibit speed builds coming up. And in general, of course, more Arctic DLC uh, news videos and of course when the DLC comes out I'm gonna have a buttload of videos I'm gonna showcase every animal everything um, and I cannot wait to do it I'm so excited anyway guys for the last time hope you guys enjoyed please remember to like button and subscribe check out my discord it's in the description below and I'll see you guys later in the next one bye bye